Hey everyone, Dan and Leslie back for another Disney dining review. We are hitting the food truck tonight. We are going to Four Rivers Cantina Barbacoa f Food Truck. <laughs> Oh, I got it on the first try. <laughs> she's, she's looked at her phone like 10 times. So this is located at Disney Springs. It is a food truck, but it is part of a bigger barbecue family. We have gotten into the habit of going to this CrossFit gym. We go three to four times a week and we always go during the lunch hour. And on our way home, we drive down Colonial and take a left from Winter Garden to head back to our house. And right there on the corner is Four Rivers Smokehouse. We have never actually stopped there, but literally every time we pass it, we're like, oh man, oh. that barbecue <laughs> smells so good. We've heard amazing things about Four Rivers Smokehouse. I really, really want to eat there. It's just like, after like drenched in sweat, we never actually <laughs> stopped. So this is part of that family. So this is the food truck version of Four Rivers Smokehouse and they've got some really kind of unique things. Yeah, so they have taken like kind of a, a Mexican food spin here. So you've got like a taco cone, you've got birria tacos, you've got a birria quesadilla, you've got street tacos, you've got a burrito bowl, you can even do like black beans and cilantro lime rice. Um, and all of it is pretty reasonably priced around, like all of the main dishes are like around 20 $12, $12, $13. So that's pretty good. But it's a Mexican spin off of barbecue. Mm. So it's like Donald's Cantina, and I can't remember the barbecue place on the Wish have just had a baby. Which I am all for. I love the location. The location's great. It's on the west side of Disney Springs. So we're going to go park in the orange garage and then make our way down to the west side. This thing opens at 5 p.m. So they're not open earlier in the day. So we are going a little bit later in the day. It's 4.15 right now. So we're about to get in the car, leave, and get to Four Rivers Cantina Barbacoa Food Truck Woo. when they open. I'm looking at the the barbecue Mexican cone thingy. Ooh. That looks pretty good. I have not yet decided. All right, well, I'm hungry. <laughs> we haven't really had lunch today. Are you ready? Yes. Let's do this. arrived and this looks really really good i got the taco cone which is 1250 but it comes uh with your choice of protein i actually upgraded to the tri-tip steak which is an extra dollar fifty um it looks fantastic look at this thing it's uh pretty unique you've got all of these pico sour cream guacamole toppings in here and the tri-tip out of a food truck at disney springs that's really good. I'm gonna dive in. I got the burrito bowl with brisket, and oh, that's really good. There's so much like mixture of flavor, and the brisket is like really well cooked. That's good. All right, so I got the birria quesadillas. I am a sucker for birria, and um, I've never had a birria quesadilla before, and that was very intriguing to me. So it does come with a little on juice. Mmm. It's got some great flavor in that beef and the cheese. And uh, I like that the, uh, or the little quesadilla, the flour tortilla, it's not as greasy as it is whenever you have the birria tacos. Now, I, don't, I haven't had their birria tacos, so maybe it's not here, but that is very, very good. So we also got the Cantina Trio. So it came with cheese and pico and guac. Mmm. The cheese is quite tasty. I've had better guac, but we're... We have the best guac maker in our family. All right, we are chowing down and we'll finish this up at home. All right, we are back. Before we get into this, if you are looking to plan your next magical vacation, please reach out to us over at Fantastical Vacations. We plan Disney destinations, Universal, Cruise Lines, and all-inclusive resorts. All right, this was actually pretty pretty fantastic, honestly, for a food truck. I know no offense to food truck owners out there, <laughs> but I mean, it's a food truck, so. Um, well, let's... I feel like you're limited a little bit in what you can accomplish in a food truck, but maybe I'm just yeah. naive in that, I don't know. But I mean, 
I'm impressed sometimes of what comes out of food trucks. There are three permanent food trucks in Disney Springs. They are kind of between the Starbucks and the restrooms right by Starbucks and Summer House on the lake. So there's a little open courtyard there. They're parked there, they're plugged into power. Uh, so they're not running or anything like that, which is kind of nice. This is the one that I've been most excited about. Um, yeah. they, they, it, there's Again, they're limited to what they can do there. So I'm really excited to go to Four Rivers Smokehouse and try that. And I'm thinking that sooner than later, we're gonna start an off-property dining review series mm. where we're gonna go to some of our favorite spots off Disney World property, but within a reasonable driving distance. Um, so in case you might want to get like a normal human priced meal, <laughs> non-Disney prices somewhere on your Disney vacation, you can. Uh, that is really, really good. There's a lot of good food here in Central Florida. So I think we're gonna start that. And that is gonna be one of them that I'm going to suggest we do maybe earlier than later in the series. <laughs> Let's get started on the rating here. So as far as ambiance goes, you know, I mean, I love being outside. I I know it's hot here in Florida, but it doesn't open until five. So it's kind of like you've got that nice like little sunset-esque moment. There was a DJ playing nearby. So there was music happening and she was kind of pumping the crowd up and whatnot. And, uh, and then you're like right over by um, Salt and Straw. So if you want a dessert afterwards, you could get it. There's just, I liked, I really, I love that area. And so I, we thought that the ambiance was fantastic. Yeah, I mean, there are, I wouldn't say plenty of tables, but there are tables. There are mm. high boys that you can stand at and there are a few tables that you can sit down because of the DJ and the music kind of a little bit louder than what we could record. Um, we went around one of the other food trucks and there were a couple tables that were up next to the planter, which the planters are seating as well. So that's kind of nice. Um, so I don't know that you can give it above a four really for ambiance that you have no choice to go inside and there are not plenty of tables like if a whole bunch of people showed up. That being said though, it was pretty fantastic for what it was. Live, not live music, but live DJ playing music, water there, and after 5 p.m. it was it was pretty nice. I mean, it's still pretty yeah. warm during the day here, so we gave it a four. All right, so theming, I mean, it's, it's a food truck. It's kind of hard because uh, yeah, everything's <laughs> it's outside, truck. but the, the truck itself looks very like, yeah. uh, you know, Mexican flair, uh, you know, it had that kind of feel to it. Everything on the menu matched each other. Like yeah. it made sense, like whenever you look at the menu. Yeah. So, I mean, but there's nothing like over the top as far as theming goes. So, um, but it'd be hard to do so, right? So we didn't really knock it, but we didn't really like, so we just went down middle of the road and said average three. I mean, they wrapped a food truck, so I- Right. <laughs> uh, service, again, it's a food truck, however, I thought it was above average for being just a window that you order at because, I mean, the guy was personable and he asked if we wanted to uh, like customize things. Like if you want, if you didn't want certain toppings or you wanted to add certain toppings, um, very nice. Um, I, I, I I don't know, like I, I'm normally, cause they do it all digitally, they do not take cash. It's all digital payments mm. here. Um, Good to note. They, yeah, they, they normally, I'm annoyed whenever it's just a walk up order thing and they flip it around and it's that awkward moment where you have to, you know, they've got all the tips there for you. <laughs> and you know, <laughs> I mean, tip what you want, but they kind of annoyed when they just like assume like you're ordering at a window. Like, like, what are you doing back there exactly to deserve a tip here? <laughs> I know, I, and I always go, oh, if we don't tip, are they gonna spit in my food? <laughs> <laughs> but I also wasn't annoyed, because I was like, I liked the service that I was getting yeah. at that window. So um, I can't really quantify it more than that. Like he, he was personable, he made, and, and it was only like a, maybe a two minute, two and a half minute interaction there. Uh, but I thought it was good, and the food came out. Uh, we'll talk about the food in a second, but I mean, they served it like it was less than the amount of time, which they said it would be, which was five minutes. And it was, I mean, it was quick. I don't know, it was quick, it was good. We, we gave it a four. Yep, food. So as far as flavors go, um, everything was really good. I tried mine, and of course, and then as well as Jennings. I did try Jennings and he really liked his too. Um, and both of them were fantastic. I very much enjoyed the little uh, cantina trio of the, the chips and dips. Um, now I did say in the video that it wasn't as greasy. It must have needed a minute to like, <laughs> for the grease to like seep through because 
I was like, wow, this is really greasy. And Dan said, you just said on the video it wasn't greasy. I was like, I know, but <laughs> it wasn't whenever I said that. Um, and I will say that it upset my tummy fairly quickly after uh, the after eating it. So it, it was definitely greasy, but it was delicious. <laughs> this is the risky run with birria tacos. That's, <laughs> That's kind true. of the thing. Like it's kind of a grease ball kind of thing going on there. Mine was a taco cone, which was like a very flaky, kind of like the taco bowls at like Taco mm. Bell, like a mm -hmm. taco salad, like flaky bowl, which that was great. And I had a bed of lettuce, shredded lettuce at the bottom. And then um, the tri-tip steak, which was actually super flavorful and tender uh, in strips. And it had quite a bit of it actually. Like there was a fair amount in that cone. Um, and then pico de gallo and guacamole and, and um, no, pico, de, yeah, guacamole and sour cream. I don't know what all was in there. There was a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bunch of toppings in there. So it's good. And then they had like little packets of Cholula you could pour on there. Dan was just like Cookie Monster, like, <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> I was hungry, okay? Um, anyway, like, I, th I thought the food was quite good. And then the chips um, with the dips appetizer, that was, you know, it was okay. Like, the queso was good, the pico was good, the guac was meh, it was okay, we've had better. But um, honestly, like, there was a ton of chips and I was happy with it. Like, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. Like for a food truck, I thought it was great. So we gave food a four. Before we get to the final rating, like I do want to talk about, cause like with these quick service things, we kind of like to talk about like kind of that one thing that would bring us mm -hmm. back here. And I really feel like for me, it is the value and the, um, yeah. the quickness in getting food. Yes, it's tasty food, but I mean, that taco cone was twelve fifty. I did upgrade the protein to a tri-tip steak, which was an extra dollar fifty. Totally worth it. Um, but even if you don't want to do that, twelve fifty is a great value. The only thing that I didn't th think was a good value was the bottle of water for four dollars. <laughs> Cheaper than Disney bottle of water, but at the same time, like four dollars for a bottle of water is a little bit ridiculous. But it's a food truck, so they don't have like running fresh water that they can just fill up cups yeah. of water out of. So I kind of get that as well. Just make sure like. Maybe get a drink somewhere else and bring it over there. Yeah. Um, but other than that, like the value, even with the $4 bottle of water, our three entrees plus the uh, appetizer of chips and dips, it was 54 bucks. That includes the, the tax. So I, I, I thought it was a great value. Yeah, it really was. And I mean, it was, we were in and out very quickly. So if you just need to grab a quick bite, then it's a good place to go with efficiency. So, um, so that's a kind of a perk. You ain't eating anywhere else for $54, like good, like quality meal mm -hmm. in Disney Springs for three people with an appetizer, yeah, right? Like, that's true, that is true. So. so if you add up all those scores and divide them out, it is a 3.75 out of five, which I mean, I know we always say like, if it's above four, we're gonna be back, but quick service, you know, it's one of those that I probably would go back to this location. Like if I needed something fast to grab and I'm always in the mood for Mexican, I just might get something less greasy. Jennings bowl looked fabulous, oh, it honestly. Really did. It was a huge serving with like rice and lettuce and all kinds of toppings. Yes. Um, it looked great. All right. So if you are liking these videos, please hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. And we will see you on the next video.